if you're in love with a guy in the third round right now, I mean, I don't, you have 10 draft picks as of now in the 2025 draft. So if we're talking about, you know, if Ian Cunningham leaves, if another player leaves and you get a two more third round compensatory picks, I wouldn't think it's absurd to, you know, here's a third and a sixth. Let me get your, you know, late second, early third for this year. And you go pick up a guy like Cedric Van Pran. I mentioned that recently. I know we've talked about that possibility. And I mentioned that recently in a chat when I was watching Robert Schmitz. And somebody was like, why would you trade up? And I was like, well, listen, it's something nobody's talking about right now. Like, But it is a possibility. If you do like a guy, if you really like a guy and he's available later than you thought he is, you do have draft capital next year. We're talking like, hey, I'll give you a second rounder next year, one of my two, to go up and, you know, go up into the third or something because Cedric Van Pran fell. You're talking about a positional value. Like, yes, positional value is all well and good. We agree with it a lot. but. You're talking about three young core players that you can address that are staples in your offense, right? And something that would be refreshing. Um, we're so sick of the center value, center position. You got two stopgap centers in there this year. Ryan Bates is a stopgap center. I I can't uh, can't agree with anybody who tells me that he's like an elite starting center. He's not. These are all stopgap things. If you want to address a, a, an important position for the next three to five years, like. Center, defensive end, and quarterback are not wasted draft picks, even if they don't become like pro bowlers and hall of famers. Right? Hey, if a guy is going to work out in your system and you know how you're going to use him and he, it looks like he's going to be open and receptive to being used that way, yeah, I'm open to trading up. It's all about production. You think he's going to produce? Does he seem like he's going to fit with the team really well and like be part of the team culture and all that and just produce his ass off? Yeah, go get him. Trade up.